Yeah. So how easy is that? Pretty easy. Okay, good. So that's what I want you to do with anything that's hard, right? right. I want you to find where it's easy and where you have mm -hmm. success. Thank and you. then I want you to just make it gradually a little bit more uncomfortable. And the way I All liken right. this, the way I liken this is to imagine you're like, you know, a lobster in a pot of hot water, right? All right and the yeah. water just the water just gets a little bit hotter, right? Yeah. You know, it's like you just someone's just constantly, you know, you don't feel the water getting hotter, right? Yeah. It's like, oh man, this is just a little bit hotter. But if you drop me in a pot of boiling water, I'm gonna scream, right? Yeah. So yeah, we wanna we wanna cook this like we're gonna cook a lobster, right? So All right turn, yeah. turn the water temperature up gradually. So the yeah. same thing. And focusing on where are you going? So da da di. Um, so simply. So we're just going. just going to those three notes right yeah so we're these are this is just filler i mean it's really that's not the important part the notes that i play those are the important notes and this is just like kind of like the 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 fluff on the outside yeah. of it right so yeah. now uh, imagine it like a hamburger i don't know why i keep talking about hamburgers but like you know we just you know the notes that are like the meat are those that's our meat and then the rest of this is just the bond right? yeah. so now let's do it half that tempo that tempo is that okay is that so yeah. comfortable okay good yeah it's pretty comfortable Good. So we little slower. I always want you to go keep it in control. You you put the lobster in the boiling water now. So I want you to go back yeah. to the uh, the comfortable lukewarm. I'm just in a warm pot of water. Okay. You don't want to boil yeah. the lobster yet. Okay. Okay. Just do that, okay? That tempo. Good, good, good. So now you're just going to take your metronome. You're just going to gradually click one click up, right? So uh, you probably have a metronome on your phone. So just yeah. do six, six clicks, five or five clicks faster now five right. more clicks faster five more clicks faster hey you sound yeah. great have you, you heard really, that really before you. you ever you? heard that before yeah mm. Mm. yeah hey bravo man really nice to hear you great job dude seriously Thank you me. sound awesome um adelaide let's hear you buzz real quick since that'll be a quick one <laughs> Wow. Six to eight, bro. Wow. Adelaide, that's really, really, really good. Thanks. So, do you realize how that helps you with your horn playing? Not really. You don't. Okay. So, what you're teaching yourself to do is when you go up higher, your lips are gradually getting closer together, right? But you're still keeping the air moving. So you're keeping the air behind the high notes. And then when you go lower, you're still keeping the air moving and you're keeping the air behind the low notes. So you're getting air behind any note you play in. So now all of a sudden you have this ability to play like 
through the, all the registers of the horn and you've got great fundamental air speed behind your air. So anything I do. simply just buzzing between those partials. So if I have a mouthpiece, I might have to use this one. So it's the exact same thing that we're doing, right? And behind any music, I'm just buzzing. So that's the simple, the simple answer. Um, so what, Mark, what can I, what would you like me to bring to Adelaide? That's perfect. I mean, you nailed it, man. She said, I'm not sure how that translates, which is what we felt in your lessons, that, that she's so capable at buzzing. And then when we plug it in, it, it's very difficult. I mean, it, this is one of the hardest things any horn player masters is how to make it feel the same on both things. When you're playing. So I know it gets, it gets complicated to pick up your horn and be like, I, this doesn't feel right. This doesn't sound right. This is like, ugh, this is weird. And then, but if you just think about buzzing, you're going to be like really great. Just the same feeling of buzzing. And you can already do that well, so I know you're going to be a great horn player. So just keep up the great work, okay? Okay, thank you. Excellent. Nice to meet you. I love it. I love it. Um, he missed playing for Bill, so let's have Elijah Silguero get in here, and he's going to play the Expo to, uh, to the Strauss Nocturno. Uh, and, again, let's just – you know, the, there will be things that are coachable within the first couple lines. So let's try to stick to some shorter excerpts so we get through everyone. Oh, was your dance in the U is silent. Okay, bravo, bravo, Elijah. Excellent, excellent job. So, Elijah, what's your favorite food? If you, I, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Can you turn it up? Sorry? I don't really have a favorite. <laughs> you, all right, do you have a favorite? Um, like, what would you have for your birthday? Like, what would your, your favorite meal be or favorite? What's the again? Pozole or something. Um, it's a Mexican dish. You said pozole, right? Pozole? Yeah. Okay, so when you get pozole, um, how do you eat it? Do you eat it like this? <laughs> like Garfield with his lasagna? Or do you take a bite and you taste it, you savor it, you smell it? 
you look at it on the plate, you enjoy it, and then you, you like maybe f set your fork down and then you take a drink of water or a drink of whatever um, you're drinking and, and then you take another bite and you enjoy the conversation with your family and then you might have another bite and you enjoy it and you smell it. Is that how you would eat it? Uh, I don't know. This is important. I don't know. I'll probably just eat it all. Like just like this. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So when you play this piece, it sounds like you're eating it like Garfield eats his lasagna. Ah. Okay. And I want you to take this as an opportunity, like everything that we do, who we are, like as a person, who we are as like, you know, um, all that sort of stuff. Uh, it's like, it, it's our manifestation of how we play. So when you go in this piece, I want you to just be a little bit more okay with like making me wait. I want you to be okay with taking your time to say it. I want you to be okay with smelling that bite and then tasting it, really enjoying chewing it. Okay, can you do it one more time and really see if you can enjoy and savor every note? Okay. Have you ever been on um, an airplane? All right. Have you ever been in the air when the, the airplane is getting turbulence and you bump up and down and you get thrown up and down? So. No. All right. Have you ever driven? Um, have you ever ridden in a car and had your your parents hit a bumpy road? Yeah. Okay. What's more fun, to ride in a really smooth car on a really smooth, perfect road, or to ride on all these potholes? More fun? Well, what's, more, what's more comfortable? Oh, on the smooth road. Okay, so could you make this like a smooth road? And I want you to imagine that every, we don't want dotted lines on the road, okay? We want those solid white lines, or yellow lines, whatever they are. So we want the solid lines on the road and we want them to be connected. So can you imagine that you're driving on a very smooth road and like ev between every note, you're gonna have that really nice connected white line, no potholes, no dips, okay? Okay. Elijah, Elijah, I hear da, 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 da. Can you sing for me? Da, da. Can you sing? Is, I know he loves it's, singing. Singing. it's his favorite. He loves to sing. Okay, this is what we do. Go ahead. Good, good, good. Now, can you do it again and really connect every pitch? I'm interested in the connection between the notes. Good. Now, do it on the horn exactly the same way. Imagine you're singing. Good. Good job. Great, great. Now do it with really smooth, gooey valves. Like your valves, like when you push your valves down, it takes a second for them to go down. And when you pull them up, it takes a second for them to come up, okay? 
And, and that will help really with the connection between the nodes. Great, great, great. So listen, listen to me now, yeah, man. Excellent, excellent, excellent job. That's a much better job taking time with the music. I know it's not perfect how you want it, of course, but dude, that's so much closer. And did you did you change the world just then, Elijah? So, bravo! Hey, that's huge improvement. I want you to take that through everything you play. Okay, just be okay with just taking your be okay with uh you know the process it takes time right it's not it's not mcdonald's like you know, the reason you like fazoli's is because it takes time to cook and it takes time for those ingredients to kind of come together and you know it's an old recipe it wasn't invented in a day right it was invented it's probably passed on from your grandma to your mom maybe to whoever else cooks it in your family so eventually someday like that recipe you'll make for your kids and that's the same thing with playing horn. Is it just takes a little bit of time to, to, to cook. So just enjoy that. And it tastes so much better so much when better. you save it. Save it. Well, I want to say while, while you've got him here, this young man is cooking. This, this guy brought Heldon Laban into his lesson, said, I want to figure this out. Show me. He played Till for Ernie Tovar. I mean, young man is cooking. So, uh, Laksh, let's get in here, bud. Elijah, let's just get you now singing, okay? Let's get you more in the singing, okay? <laughs> awesome. Hey, Dave, you just let us you just let us know how much time we have and um, Locks, cue it up, man. Nice and fat. Great breathing equals great music, please. Thank you. 
Great All right, bravo, 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 bravo. Okay, so Laksh, um, I guess I would guess that you are. Um, I don't know you, but I would guess that you're really intelligent and you really care about playing the horn well. Is that a good assessment, Mark? Yeah, that's pretty spot on. He's a real practicer. Okay, so one of the things I noticed about you is um, you might be. Um, trying to control the outcomes so what i feel like you want to do is you want so hard for this to be right and so hard for it to be uh like you want every note to be in the right spot and you want to make sure that it's going to be perfect and i think with playing the horn you kind of have to let go and play with no abandon right um so it's kind of like that trust and it's also getting vulnerable right it's that like you know i mean i'm gonna be out on the stage and i'm gonna be like butt naked and you know it's, it's it's scary but the thing is is like if you take that risk and you do it well you're gonna have a great payoff so um i feel like you want every note to be in a certain spot with your chops and i feel like um it's easier if you can just um, think of this as like surfing, right? So as long as the wave is behind you, you're going to be pushed. If you're trying to like paddle, you're going to be like working your tail off. And you're going to get tired. Even if you're going like with the waves and the wave isn't pushing you, you're going to get tired really fast. But the second yeah. that you get behind that wave, the wave starts pushing you, then all of a sudden you get this ride. You could ride, you know, in, you could turn, you can go do like, you know, aerials. You can come back to, you know, kick turns, all sorts of things. I love surfing and that's like a really great analogy for me is that like, hey, if I'm riding with the wave and the wave is pushing me, meaning that the air is behind every note, mm -hmm. you're not going to have to worry about staying up on top of the water. You're just going to yeah. ride in. So it's, a, it's one of those things that like the more you put on the brakes and the more that you try to like squeeze here and control here, the, the worse it's going to be, and then the more fear you're going to have, number one, the less fun it's going to be, and the less um, uh, endurance you're going to have. Yeah. So, so watch when Mr. Jansen says, take big air, what he means is drop your jaw, right? So we always set the mouthpiece here. And then I am not breathing with a smile. No, 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 no. We want to keep the corners in while we breathe. Mm -hmm. And then um, we also drop the tongue here and we say toe, toe. And we keep the tongue low and flat when we're breathing. So just imagine that like you've been like underwater for like, you know, 20 seconds and all of a sudden you get up to the top, you're gonna, you're gonna wanna take in all that air really fast. So yeah. um, can you just try doing that? Put your hand up to your face, come close to the camera for me. Closer, closer, closer. And I wanna hear you go. Like not, like not with the suction then? But listen, do you hear how it's low? Low. Yeah, yeah, yeah really low sound. But really, I'll fill up your whole corners, your whole lung capacity. Yeah. Now, can you do that before you start and just let it rip? Just let that air come into your horn. Use that air with abandon. Okay? Yeah. So... Play, play the opening of Strauss one and use that sort of air. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, that's about 25% better. Okay, but I want 100% better. Okay, so the way that you can improve on this take a page any page any page of music okay we want to blow this page watch this everyone should be paying attention to this keep this page Elevated. Do that for me.
There you go. There you go. There you go. Good. Now put your mouthpiece in your hand and see if you can keep that same page elevated. More, 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 more. Now see if you can buzz like a G. G. Good. Now I want you to sub. Opening a shots one. Can you do that with the page? Keep that page moving while you're buzzing the air. Okay. Okay, let's try the last note again. Really see if you can get that air through the last note. Good, good. Now, now imagine you're doing that. Put that in the horn. Now do the exact same thing in the horn. Go ahead. Bravo. All right. All right. Jeez, man, that's, that is so good. That's that's huge, huge improvement, right? And so it's it's what happens is like you're using more air, you're taking more air in, but now all of a sudden you've seen yourself, you have a visual demonstration of what your airstream is doing. Okay? Yeah. The last thing that we can do to make ourselves more efficient, um, think of a, a Prius car. Like, so I love this analogy of the Prius car because um, have, you, have you driven a Prius? Have you ridden in a Prius? Yeah. Okay. So what happens when you come up to a stoplight? It slows down and then it stops. Okay, so the engine completely cuts off, right? Yeah. Okay, yes. and, then, and then when you hit the gas, what happens? It turns it back on. Okay, so when the engine stops, there's a motion for the air, or for the, for the engine to go to a halt. So it slows down. Uh, you're frozen. I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? And I can hear you. Okay, good, good, good. So when we're at the stoplight, there are two motions. There is the motion for the engine to slow down and stop. And then there's a motion from that stop to restart and then speed up again. Right? Mm -hmm. So I want you to imagine that your engine is your airstream. So in between every note, you are coming to this stoplight and your engine is going to a stop. And then you have to restart your air to start the next note and then speed it up to get it to the right speed. So what's happening is now you've got this motion of stopping and this motion of starting. And when you restart that air, there's a chance that the air is going to be too fast or too slow and you're going to miss the note that you're trying to hit, yeah. right? So mm -hmm. what I need you to do is to make the illusion of stopping so you can come down to, you know, about here, and then you can, re you know, and then you can give a, a crescendo when you start that next note, and you have the, the lips are vibrating. So it doesn't stop the lip from vibrating. It doesn't restart the lip. So therefore, you won't miss as many notes, Okay, so mm -hmm. I'm explaining to you that the Prius is not what we want. We do not want the Prius. We want the regular conventional engine and we want it to be idling in between notes and the tongue is simply just gonna, you know, interrupt and slice through like a, like a, like a quick sword. <sighs> Can you do that? Yes. Good, that is our, that's our tongue. 
the air is still going, but the tongue is simply going to interrupt that airstream. Okay. And then, uh -huh. and we're, so we won't have to restart the air when the tongue happens. We're just simply going to keep the air moving and have the tongue interrupt the air. So when we go through this opening, we can do one more thing. So I heard, I heard, duh, ha, ha. And I want more connection between the notes. Could you try that for me? Just really see if you can siren between those notes. Ah, uh, 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 there. Coming back down, you got a little bit Prius -y. So I want you to enjoy the journey, the siren down to the note, okay? Start on the top note. Wait, wait, more. I want more siren between the notes. Uh, right there. Uh, and then siren, siren, siren down to the low F. Again. Again. Good, good, good. So we have to keep our, our lips farther apart and the airstream blowing upwards when we're doing those low notes. So watch my mouthies. <laughs> I'm pushing my lower jaw forward and the, and the mouthpiece is coming up. Can you try that? One more time, the siren down to the low F. Now put that in the horn, that last octave. Yeah. Now play breath. as written. Big breath. Yeah, good. Now ah, play, Yahtzee. play the whole thing. Da -ya like we're singing through. Da -ya -ya -di -di -ya -da -da -ya -di -da. So we want the connection between the notes just like you siren. So you're going to do that now in the horn. And imagine you're sirening through the horn. Good, good, good. Listen. time from you. Great, 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 great. So that's okay. much better. It, again, locks, it's just so important that you copy the pacing of it. Right? You've got to listen to the recording enough to know the pacing of the phrase. So, Locks, I'm really, I'm really proud of you. You're really quick and you're really good at, I mean, you're really smart. I really hope that we can work together again sometime. Uh, you're, you're a really good student. And uh, I really appreciate, I appreciate your willingness to do what we tried because it's not always easy to do and to understand. 
but yeah, your willingness is really, really fun to work with. So thank you again. And uh, yeah, excellent results. Awesome, thank man. You. How do you feel, Dave? You want to hear till or you want to be done? Let's hear till and then I'm going to be done. All right, Argus. Hey, Mr. Cooper. What's up, Argus? Great to see you, brother. Sure. All right, you're going to play the third horn version, right, bro? Okay. Yeah, I can do that. All right, lock and load. This is for the GDYO audition, Dave. <laughs> Good, 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 good. Okay, so again, what I was what saying I was to um, who who was our first student, Mark? I'm sorry. Could you remind me his, his first name? Ishwar. Ishwar. What I was saying to Ishwar applies to you. Even though you're you're older and you've been playing the horn much longer, tempo isn't our primary goal, right? Tempo is like third or fourth down the line. So I'm more impressed with you. Like, I mean, number one, that's a great low A. I, I don't have that. That's really, really good. But now the rest of it has to come up to that level, right? Right? So I'm more impressed with you just um, getting the notes right. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't have it in front of me, but I need it to be. Like that's that's more important. So let's play it about half tempo. Keeping the rhythm the most important priority. Okay, so Just uh, tempo. after the call. After the call. Okay. Nope. Ah, ah, ah. Listen, listen, even slower. So tap your foot along with each one of these. Ba, 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 da, 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 da. Type your foot along with that. If... Good. That second one. On that C sharp, you're letting up on the tension. And, and that's, um, I think, a huge uh, mistake because we got to use those C sharp, like those longer notes, to propel us into the higher notes. Like this? So I'm like really using those as like a diving board to leap farther into the pool, okay? Okay. One more time, same tempo. Good, 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 good. And then um, the lastly, uh, I need that first note to be a little bit, um, the sound isn't quite right. So are you playing that on your high embouchure or your low embouchure? Um, probably my low one. Okay, uh, I want you to really know you're playing it either on your high or low embouchure. So if you're playing in your low embouchure, make sure you're anchored on your low lip. If you're playing in your high embouchure, make sure you're anchored on your high lip, okay? Mm -hmm. So whichever one you're doing, just make sure you're anchored on one of the lips. Can you just start it one more time? Mm -hmm. 
Ah, so much better. See, it, but you have to know for sure. It's not probably, right? You knew and then you made the adjustment. And now you got to walk that walk of gradually speeding it up and not run to the finish line like you always do. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, myself included. Oh, everyone, all of us type A horn players, we, like Dave said at the beginning, we want to be done before we start, you know? We want to already be famous. Yeah, right. and it's, you know, it's like, do you want McDonald's or do you want that, like, uh, Ruth Chris sirloin burger? That sirloin burger? <laughs> yeah, man, that's what I'm after. So, you right. know, like, you know, like, that's why I'm paying 20, 30 bucks for a burger. I'm not paying it, you know, for McDonald's. I'm only paying a dollar for that cheeseburger at McDonald's. So, mm -hmm. you know, you let me know which one you, you want. Do you want me to pay a dollar for that excerpt? Do you want me to pay $250 for that excerpt? Right. So, yeah. so, so. Yep. So that's, that's it. You know, it's just like, just whatever quality you put in is the quality we're going to get out. So. It's oh, very no, good, I, Argus. I did not have an all-day high C as a junior in high school. I don't know about Dave. He probably did. I did not. I didn't. No, not at all. Not at You're all. Saying, dude. What you can't see, Dave, is this guy is yoked. He's gonna be like. He's gonna be like six six. He's he's just huge. <laughs> like, and you've known crazy. him since he was. You've known him since he was what, well, like twelve, thirteen? Eighth grade. I met Argus when he was finishing eighth grade. That's awesome, man. Yo, it's <laughs> great to see you, Argus. I'm really, really proud of you, man. Uh, thank You're you. Really, really great work. That low A is phenomenal. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, okay, guys. Well, this is a great place to wrap up for our, our conclusion of our uh, master class today. Thank you all for being here. And thank you, Mr. Jansen, for putting on this incredible uh, hey, can lesson. We, can everybody that's left turn your, your screens on? Kaden, Suhas. Ishwar, let me wrap up by saying without my mother, Julie's iPad, I wouldn't be alive. So uh, all of you, you children of mothers, make sure you're being sweet to your moms during quarantine. Yep. Isn't it Mother's Day this weekend too? Maybe not. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All right, okay, guys, let me take a picture and then let's get out of here. Dave, we can't thank you enough, man. You're an inspiration to me and, and I know to so many of these people here. So awesome. thank you, man. Look, that's guys, that's an hour and 42 minutes with Dave Cooper. Um, wow. I just feel so lucky, man. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Have a great rest of your day. See you soon. Bye. Happy Friday. Shabbat Thank you. Bye-bye.